is another installation instruction video from bushingfix.com. Start by removing the old bushing. Using an angled pick, a pocket screwdriver is helpful as well, but you want to move the pick around in a circular direction and get all the old bushing out and flip it over and do the same thing until the entirety of that old bushing is out of there. Next, take the new bushing and starting with the tapered end, you want to put it into the hole of the transmission cable end. And this bushing goes in easiest when you put it in at an angle to start with. So once you get the bushing lined up with the hole, set it up at an angle, and tuck the edges of the bushing in to the hole. And once you get it set up, you'll want to use the cuffed end of the installation tool, sort of like a shoehorn, to get the rest of the bushing into the hole. You want to get it in about halfway, use the other end of the installation tool to drive the bushing the rest of the way in. Check and be sure it's centered. And you can use the other end of the installation tool to tuck the bushing into place. When you go to put this cable end on the transmission, you'll want to cover the hole with your finger or your thumb on the tapered end and put the transmission pin through from the other side. Be sure to note which side the tapered end is and then press it directly onto the transmission pin. A little bit of movement is normal. You can shift this gear selector between park and one several times to verify the installation.